Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video on this channel. So in today's video, guys, I am going to be talking about something relatively important towards the future of Greenville. So as most of you guys probably know, very recently, Driving Empire actually had an update. And in this update, they added loot boxes where you had to pay around like 600 or so Robux to basically have a lucky spin on what car you actually get. However, it was pretty rigged as most of the time you wouldn't even get anything good. So in retaliation to this, the Driving Empire community actually began emailing different car brands to attempt to get them to be removed from Driving Empire. And even though I somewhat agreed with their frustration, I feel like people went way too far with this. Because what actually came out of that is car brands such as Koenigsegg actually sent cease and desist letters to Roblox, which means that we can no longer have those car brands in games such as Greenville. And even as I'm making this video, people are still emailing car brands attempting to get them to send cease and desist letters to Roblox. And I'm pretty sure some car brands are already actually doing that sort of stuff right now. So I would not be surprised whatsoever if in the next like month or two we get more car barons being removed from Roblox. And this is very similar also to the incident in the past when Lamborghini was removed from Roblox since they basically sent some sort of cease and desist letter over to Roblox as well. And this wasn't caused by the community, this was genuinely just Lamborghini on their own behalf doing it. And the reason why this is bad for Greenville is because that Greenville is solely based around having real life car brands in their game and obviously we do have fictional cars but majority of the cars in the game are real car brands and the reason why this could be very very bad if it escalates any further is because that if it gets to the point where most car brands decide to send cease and desist letters over to roblox then eventually greenville will have no cars left and even though i heavily doubt it will get to that point where greenville will literally have no cars left as i'm pretty sure car brands such as mclaren are still sort of affiliated with roblox and i'm pretty sure roblox has licensing as well so i think car brands like mclaren should be fine for the most part but when it comes to most other car brands out there if they decide to send season to sys letters over to roblox and get them removed from games like greenville then it definitely won't be good now the interesting thing is that the car brand koenigsegg in greenville is actually still somewhat available so even though you can't actually purchase koenigseggs anymore for people who owned them before they were removed you actually have gotten to keep them but i honestly don't know if this is going to stay and i'm not sure if greenville will eventually have to remove them fully but i'm not sure to be honest but yeah so as you guys probably know, in the last update that we got very recently, there was actually a new fictional supercar added to the game. Now, even though I don't know for sure, I have a speculation that the supercar brand was actually added to Greenville, sort of to actually prepare in case anything happens, so then they still have other car brands. And I mean, this could definitely mean that we are going to see more fictional car brands coming to Greenville in the near future, because considering how bad things are getting recently, and especially if even more car brands get removed in the next couple of months, then I would not doubt for one second that Greenville would begin working on more fictional cars. Now even though this isn't necessarily a bad thing because Greenville will still have fictional cars of course to you know be able to add to the game and whatnot. The main issue is that a lot of people only play Greenville because of their realistic car models and without these realistic slash real life car models people aren't going to play as much as they do currently and obviously that doesn't apply to all the community as people who play roleplay servers for example who are actually dedicated to playing the game probably won't care all that much but for people who play this game purely just for the cars they're probably going to stop playing this game. So I mean, yeah, it is pretty scary stuff to be honest, because Greenville has been out for like the past, I think, six years at this point, possibly even seven, and nothing like this has ever really happened to this extent. And I mean, if anything, this is only the start of it, and as I've been saying this whole video, I would not be surprised if more car brands eventually get removed. But yeah, like, I mean, depending on how bad this is, this could literally change Greenville forever. And even though I don't think Greenville would shut down over this, I feel like a lot of people would just stop playing the game purely because of the fact that, you know, these real life car brands will probably eventually be removed moved if it gets worse and yeah it just really sucks altogether and it sucks even more considering the fact that most of this damage was actually done by the community of roblox car games and if it weren't for that we would have basically been completely fine to be honest so yeah so tell me what you guys think about this in the comments below i really really hope it doesn't get any worse because i mean you know that just wouldn't be good because it would cause huge changes within games like greenville and just like roblox car games in general but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure to leave like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one